So we've had a wreck. We've had a clean race, but uh, with a back of the pack finish. Those were both at Talladega. Now it's short track racing time. This is my comfort zone. Tracks like this, short, a little bit of banking, not much, flat track, really have to drive the thing with the rear tires. Qualifying, of course, matters because there are no cautions in this series, so you're never going to get bunched back up to help you out. Clear. So, that being point zero seven three. In practice, I might be able to establish a little bit of a something. Broke on the top. Or not. Stand it's already on. fallen. Ryan Kuhn with the uh, faster time. He's in the uh, number one car. Know that I'm going to have to beat him for this thing. This would be a pretty big win, given that I'm in the seven car, if I were to win this thing. That's a fairly high number to have on the side of your door. I don't know if I'll be able to win it at all. I know that I'm going to try, though. <laughs> Flatten it out again. Just working it. All right, let's see if we can... Should be able to work by this 12 car. Tires are already falling off a little bit. Oh, and I didn't adjust my brake bias. So that's why it's messing up. I need to go do that. Garage, chassis. Throw that brake bias back down to 65. That felt pretty comfortable. And let's qualify with that. That's good advice. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That's smoother out of there, but slower than I've been doing. Okay, not a great lap, but not terrible. This one's going to be slower. But if I'm in the top two or three in qualifying, that'll be nice. I'm already going to miss pole for sure. Third quick. Got the one and the three in front of me. And the two. Look at that, one, two, three, our one, two, three in qualifying. It's a nice lap, Ryan. Uh, tried taking a wall down on the first lap, damn it. All right, so fifth place right now. That shows you the strength of field that a 19-1 ends up fifth quick. Would have been third quick if I would have matched what I uh, did in practice. I still like how this car looks. I'm sorry, but I am proud of my work on this one. And it's cool to have the uh, names of my followers on the uh, all over the thing. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Go back to what I like to do pre-race with these things, which is... Um, Take a look at some of the other cars that are out there. There's the number eight of David Devin McLeod. There I am in my number seven car, the hundred follower special. Benjamin Lacey three. And the fourteen. There's Ryan Kuhn. He's been the man in practice and qualifying. Michael Seal three. Mike Seal. 
Mike Strange on the uh, channel and chat. You guys see him regularly. Here he is running right behind me. Maybe trying to follow my line. Randy Muller in the 16 with the UAW Delphi car. That's a scheme that anyone who is a fan of NASCAR early 2000s would recognize. 12 of Connor James. Fourteen, Benjamin Lacey there, we've already looked at him. There's Graham Narcomy is the one who was talking about hitting the wall and qualifying. That Superflow car is looking good. Michael Fennison with the old Bobby Labonte, uh, the winter, the, the, the uh, Coca-Cola winter car. It's the one that he put upside down. There's Jose Solis Jr. in the uh, number four M&M's car. See if we can find someone else. There's Kevin Burris in the three. Looks like he's got his own scheme going. That's pretty cool. So this ought to be a fun race. 16 car field, not too big, not too small. Um, got some good racers in here and uh, should make for a very entertaining race. <laughs> Applying to be an iRacing commentator? Uh, I would, I mean, that'd be awesome, but I don't know if I, uh, I don't even know how, how I would go about doing that. Um, I guess I could shoot him one of my uh, videos as a sample or something like that, that even as a kid, when I was doing like the original NASCAR race and stuff, I always had commentary running in my head through the race. I'm an only child, so I had to make my own entertainment. Um, thank you for the compliment, though. I appreciate that. Um, hope you guys like. Hope you like the stream. You seem to. You keep coming back, so I appreciate five. that as well. It does not go Close. unnoticed. Um, so here we go. Starting fifth in the number seven car, a top five to kick off the week here at Stafford would be awesome. I don't know how to fix it. I think that's just the uh, engine idle. I've got the um, center spring removed already. So I've, I've never found a way to fix that. I think it's just the uh, the engine idle. It doesn't cause. It's the um, Fanatec uh, CSL Elite. It doesn't cause me really any issues when I go down the straightaway. It seems like anymore. Um, but yeah, it's just it gets insane if I leave it let go. But if I've got my hands on it, it's not doing it hardly at all. Um, it just kind of bounces. Maybe, honestly, like, so I went to the forums and I put the settings at exactly what they recommend for the uh, fan attack wheels on there. And it still does the wobble, but I've got the centering spring out, which is the best, biggest thing. I think that, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, it's, it's accurate in the corners. It's not going to, uh, it doesn't wobble in the corners. It's only when I'm at the center spot that it does that. Sup K1 Grizzly, how's it going? Alright, so here we go. A little bit of a bob and weave. Thanks K1 Grizzly, man. How's it going? Merry Christmas to you. I like that, uh, I like that emoticon, man. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. Did you do that art yourself or did you have someone else do it? Okay. Oh no, your wheel broke? Oh yeah. In lane starts definitely preferred. Yeah, same go. with mine, man. I actually took a screen cap for my stream to do my art, but that's uh, that was my own art, hand done. Um, well, hand done on the computer, tracing, but you know. Um, 
So yeah, sergeant speed definitely prefer starting on the inside. Oh, the T80. Yeah, man, don't have a bungee cord wheel. Get yourself something a little bit better. Now is the time to upgrade. There we go, third gear. Oh. Missed my shift points. But I still was able to get to the inside of Burris going into one. Love this load cell brake. That's how you outbrake people. You're clear. Little contact. Hope he isn't too upset about that. He should understand. Sorry about that contract, Kevin, man. I don't think I did anything terribly wrong there. It felt like good racing, but I apologize anyway. Alright, so here we go. Settled out into fourth. I'm going to try to take care of the tires as best we can. So this is what I was talking about, Brian. If you look at the fast guys, a lot of these guys use that apron. And we'll use it, particularly as the run goes along, you'll see him using it even more. I'm probably cutting my corner entry off a little bit too much, actually. So I'm just going to try to lock in and run clean, fast laps, get away from the six, pull down on the four, and... You know, right now I'm in position for a good finish. I just got to run clean for, I think it's 50 laps. Yep, that's five complete, so I got 45 more to go. I'm not going to be able to read chat during the race. I apologize for that. These turns come too quickly. And <laughs> a little bit of wheel hop in there. Nothing too shabby, but where it's really going to get interesting, and it shouldn't take too long, that one car is going to catch lap traffic at some point in this race. And when these guys start working lap traffic, this battle will really heat up. So I just want to stay in contact and stay close, because when lap traffic starts coming into play, things will accordion. Also, if these guys are being harder on their tires than I am, that will play into my favor. There goes the four getting a little bit loose. If I would have been right on his tail when that happened, I'd probably be inside right now and working past. Uh, this is definitely a one groove racetrack. You can fight on the outside, but it is really tough. Um, if someone gets the inside of you, they're probably gonna go by. So, when it closes up, you'll see the lead car start taking a little bit more of a defensive line. And then the role of the trailing car is going to be to try to arc it a little bit higher through the corner and get a better run off. I struggled there to get my rear tires gripping coming off of that corner. Let it roll a little bit there. Saw some dust kick up, I think, with someone in the grass over there. Looks like not. I don't know if I saw that correctly or not. Yeah, the guy in the one car, Ryan Kuhn, he was fastest in practice, fastest in qualifying, and he's just pulling away now that we're in the race. I got a shot at this four car, perhaps. I've raced with Jose a lot. Actually raced with Fennelson a lot, too, but usually with Fennelson, it's not actually racing with him. He's usually well in front of me. Um, definitely on the speedways he's better, but on the short tracks I've got a better chance of keeping pace with him. That's going to roast my right front if I keep entering turn one like that. Diving it down into three. Let it roll a little bit. Pick up the throttle. Just sticking right with the four right now. His nose dives, my nose dives. Four overdrove that entry. Maybe not. He just kind of let it roll up high, though. Just grazed the wall. No harm, no foul on that. You can touch the wall here. 
and not do a ton of damage and it doesn't really hurt the car. You don't want to do that too much though. But you do need to use up all the track <laughs> as I get into it again. Just trying to swing out wide and get that extra little bit of corner entry. Holding it straight down the straightaway. Diving it in. Hooking it. Okay, the three of Kevin Burris has gotten back by the uh, six car. And if he catches me, I'm not going to let him go to the inside, but I'm not going to fight him too hard. I know that I was pretty aggressive in getting by him on the start. So he might not be too pleased with me for that. Kind of gotten out of my groove a little bit. I need to settle down and start running a cleaner line. Those two hits to the back stretch wall didn't do me any favors. Turn one entry, I'm just not quite right with it. And as I said, it wouldn't take us long to get into lap traffic, and I can see lappers in front of me now. A little bit better arc than the uh, three did. He gained in the center of the corner because he was running a lower line, but I had it on corner exit better than him. Doing the same uh, thing. Now I'm going to have to protect better to the inside. The thing rolls and he's closing right in on me. Oh, that's intense. Knowing that he's right there. Sorry about this guy. Oh. Put it over to the relative. Clear inside. Inside. In and out. Inside. One only. Clear. All right. Well, he definitely used the bumper there, as I kind of predicted that he would. So if I get back to him, it's fair game now. At least I got straightened out and didn't lose too many spots. Only a 2x. I don't think I cut him off though, but again, you know, if he wants to play that way, I'm really not sorry about what I did earlier. That was nothing compared to what he just did to me. Just rolling, rolling the inside, trying to get a run on Jake. Touch the wall again. I gotta stop doing that. And I do it again. Still only a 2x, despite I think hitting the wall five times now. And the 2x was from the three's front bumper. So here we go. Seventh place. Down to the inside again. Well, we're halfway into the race. Halfway. 19.814. Letting it roll. That's actually letting it roll. Staying right in line. This has not been a clean race from me by any means. Losing a bit of time through that corner. Getting on the gas there. Now lap traffic's getting into it. guys better stay out of the way. If they want to have their own battle, that's fine, but they need to recognize that there are lead lap cars battling for position right now. Let us get through and then go back at it. Whew. 
Good to know how to use the flat, because it's one way to make passes work. Good one a little bit sideways. Well, I've fallen back to the seventh spot, which matches the number on the side of my door. So based on I rating, this is where I should finish. I don't want to finish here, though. I want to do a little bit better. Things been a relatively clean race. As far as short tracks are concerned. Not quite able to get to Jake's bumper here. Slap 32 of 50. Love to get up to the eight car. That's where the top five spot is right now. Oh, and a lapper made a just bonehead move. That is terrible. Doing that to a lead lap car. That is awful. You gotta let lead lap cars go. So that puts Jake to fifth, me to sixth. Working on him. Not, don't want to hit him, but I do want to make him nervous. 19.97. That's kind of what taking the look is all about. Get him thinking about it. Maybe I can get him to defend low. Running higher through three and four. Hooking it up. Not much contact, just kind of let him know that I'm there. <laughs> Both of us are wagging our tails coming off the corner. I love this stuff. Love short track racing. Love doing it with people who know how to race. Just going to try to get by him somehow. That actually wrinkled his back bumper. I didn't think it was that hard of a hit. What up, Law Dog? How's it going, man? I see you over there. Trying to get something working off of the corner on Jake. Looking to the outside. He blocks. That's a good run. Got it. Oh, I shouldn't have lifted there. He came right down to my front end. I should have let that contact happen. There we go. Clear, clear outside. Outside. Bust the traffic, girl. Good job, man. Still out there. Still there. 
Got the position. Just need to complete the pass in turn one and two. Let it roll up a little bit. There we go. Fifth place. Woo! That's a top five. I've been faster than him. I should be able to pull away. Oh, that's karmic. I don't know what happened to the three, but I'm happy that it did because of the way that he passed me. All right. Hope that Jake remembers that I passed him clean. I don't know what the three's doing. He might have had his wheel go out or something. That's what it looks like. You're clear. Oh ho! Thanks for backing out of that, Jake. Three cars still sitting there. All right. So this is going to be a fourth place finish. I think he might have lost connection with his wheel or something. There he goes. So I ended up losing ground to the uh, front three. But all in all, that was a pretty exciting race. Hard fight. Yeah, good win there, Ryan. Ended up with uh, good race, fourth though. place. So I'm liking that. That felt pretty good. And that might be some decent points, too, given the uh, strength of field here. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Check flag. Um, let me see. That was pretty good. Yep, nearly lost it. Had it going okay, though. And a uh, fourth place finish. think that the uh, racing guys didn't like what the uh, three did. Uh, I'm not sure there. what happened to him there. But let's take a look. Actually, no. We got no time for um, replays. Thanks, Sergeant Speed. That was fun. No time to look at the uh, replay because I got to bounce out and get right over to see fixed and try to redeem myself. And then that's probably going to be my last race for the day. So, that was fun.